can you just uh, explain the big difference from uh, the last couple of days into today? Yeah, a lot of similarities uh, for how I played it. Feld was able to hold some putts at uh, you know, key times, especially in the beginning of the round, made a couple nice par savers. And, um, yeah, didn't uh, make too many mistakes after that. Felt like I played pretty solidly. And, yeah, just took uh, care of a couple of the par fives with two putts. And I uh, was able to yeah, make a couple other birdies. Still feel like uh, left a few out there, but happy with how I played. And, um, you know, can't uh, really force things out there. The course is still playing uh, quite tricky. Is there a matter, is it getting some familiarity with the course, with the contours on the fairway and the undulation of the greens? Do you feel you've picked up on some of that uh, throughout the week? Yeah, I feel like I've continued to learn every day. I feel like I had a good game plan starting the week, but um, there's a lot of little tricks and, you know, slopes, like you said, that uh, I'm continuing to learn about and, um, you know, Nothing, I would say, really surprised me uh, the last couple of days, but uh, you know, definitely getting to know the course a lot better. Satisfying to have a round like this on a, on Saturday here. Yeah, um, you know, feels good. Happy with the the score for sure. Uh, I felt like I played a little better than my score the last couple of days, and um, you know, nice to to get in the red numbers again today. Hey Corey, uh, you had a really strong back nine today. What were you seeing on the back nine that uh, made it a bit easier, gettable? Yeah, I got the ball in play off the tee. It was the main thing. It was uh, kind of in the fairway, every uh, every hole. Um, got got off to a good start on the back nine with a nice pot on number ten from the back fringe, and uh, you know a couple two putts on the other par fives, and kept it really simple. In the other holes um, felt like I gave myself some some decent looks. Uh, a couple uh, yeah, nice two putts when I needed them. There's a lot of demands made on Canadian golfers at the Canadian Open in the days leading up to the tournament, and even the first and second rounds. Did you find it easier today now that you're sort of through all the media appearances and stuff, aside from this one? Um, you know, it's, it's been a great week you know, so far. Um, enjoyed every moment of it. I would say, you know, probably felt a little bit more relaxed today going out uh, early in the morning. Uh, but it was awesome to, to have the continued fan support and... You know, I really enjoyed the, the last couple of days. It's been a thrill for me to be back up here and um, you know, do all the, the extra stuff and, and feel all the love from the fans. Uh, it's been great. Yeah, sort of following up on that, Corey, how would you describe the pressure you feel this week compared to maybe other weeks on tour? Yeah, I mean, obviously I have high expectations of myself. Um, you know, I'm not out here feeling like uh, I need to prove anything. I'm, I'm out here trying to have fun and play golf and, and see what happens. I feel comfortable with my game and starting to feel more comfortable in these situations but you now I try and take the energy from from the fans and the people around me and, and turn into a, a positive and not really feel like uh, anyone's putting pressure on me and you now I feel like if you asked you know any of any of the fans out there they they w- would say oh he doesn't really need to feel he doesn't need to feel pressure like we're you know happy to watch him play kind of thing so um yeah just trying to be relaxed have fun you uh, you putted with the Leafs jersey on on 16. Was that in the works for a while this week, or why why today to do that? Yeah, well, I hadn't hit the green. I didn't really want to chip uh, <laughs> or bunker shot and chip though on Thursday. Uh, felt like that would have been a bit of a challenge. So I was waiting to, till I uh, knocked one on and uh, was able to do that today. And um, felt some some positive vibes when I was over that putt. I thought I was going to drain it and, and hit it pretty good. Just uh, stayed a little high, but um, yeah, huge Leafs fan. Something. Uh, some fun, you know, not really uh, usually a guy that would do something like that, but huge Leafs fan, so um, it was cool. Back out again tomorrow if you hit the green with the jersey? Um, yeah, we'll have to see. Um, might uh, <laughs> might be doubling as a raincoat tomorrow, but we'll see. Hey, Corey, we're hearing a lot of guys come off and say how they think they could have been just one or two shots better, a couple shots better, which I guess all of us golfers always think, but is there something in particular about St. George's that is is affecting that? Yeah, I, I think pretty much on the greens, like guys would think about, and I think about a couple putts that just slid by, but uh, the greens are pretty severe with the slope, and you know some of the putts are a little faster than they look, a little slower than they look, and the, the speed can be a little bit tricky as well. So it's, yeah, this just a couple shots on the greens where you feel like you hit a really good putt and it should go in and it just misses, and uh, those I think those are the sort of lingering shots that you remember. I have certainly had a lot of those. Had a, a couple today uh, again, but um, it, it's just uh, a little bit tricky. 
You mentioned earlier about being a little more relaxed this morning. Is it also a little more relaxing not being with the with Rory and JT out there, one of the feature groups? Yeah, I had a lot of fun playing with those guys. They're, they're great players and great people. Um, so I, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, the pairing the first few days. Um, I guess there was probably a little less going on uh, today, so it's maybe a little easier to be relaxed. But it certainly was uh, was fun for me to play with those guys the, the last couple of days. Thanks. Um, Rory yesterday was saying it's basically St. George has played almost like a major championship, a U.S. Open course, aside from maybe just the length of the course. Is that something you as a Canadian take pride in, that our National Open is, is playing in a stern test? And like yeah, that? it's, that's a, it's pretty amazing. And you know, all the guys that I've talked to this week you know, love the golf course. I think it's a great test of golf. Um, You've got to do everything well. So, yeah, definitely take a lot of pride uh, in that. And I think you know, the, the course is in fantastic condition um, certainly resembles a major championship test. All right. Good. Thank you. All right.